Well, now we come to the the fun part. Um, just a little background. I'm going to give you an outline. Won't be long. It's going to be pithy. Wish I could write music like this for you. Make your life my song. I don't know how to thank you. Love me. In meditation, I was overwhelmed. Just overwhelmed by love for God. Do you dare to love yourself that much? Do you love me enough? Do you love yourself enough to surrender your suffering? That is essentially the journey of my last three years. When we're asked what really makes you happy? And Joseph Campbell would suggest that we follow our bliss. What? makes me really happy. And in discovering that, I have discovered my purpose in why I'm here. I have become a Mary I never dreamed existed by being willing to surrender every thought, every belief about this personality, this form, every part of my personality here because my mission is to make my life a song. Tonight I'm singing. All of what I am is here. And I love God. And it seemed that for many, many years it was a searing passion instead of a gentle acceptance, a willingness to trust that I'm already everything beyond my tiny idea of everything. I am everything I need. I am everything I could ever want. And my joy and my innocence is making a comeback.
I used to be called intense by so many people. I found it quite irritating because I was just talking about the things I normally talk about, which is, you know, like God metaphysics and all that stuff that, you know, was a big yawn snore for a lot of people. But um, now it's the challenge, in, and this, it sounds insane, but we live in an insane world. But it's really counterintuitive that I would need to learn to accept being joyful. That I would need to learn how to accept, trust that I am worthy to receive all of the gifts of the kingdom. We all live in the kingdom. Where would we ever go to be outside of God? Where could we ever possibly go that is not within the all of all? And I tell you, this illusion of separation has haunted us for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And along the way, individuals who knew the truth would come along. But the people could not understand. They were not vibrating at a high enough frequency, so to speak, to be able to understand. That was then. This is now. That history, our histories, are gone the minute we open our hand. I no longer choose, consciously or unconsciously, to create anything but joy and love for me, within me. And since there's only one of us here, spread it to shine, to be who I was born to be. I was born to be a light. We all were born to be a light. We are all here in these times for a particular reason. Never ever before in the history of the world has there been a time of such critical urgency that we write a new story. It is time right now to be willing to accept that we are the divine sons and daughters of the Most High Creator, our Father, God. We are not an accident. We are not a mistake. We are not less than. We are not unworthy. We are the children of the divine. And every time we put ourselves down in any way, consciously or unconsciously, we have attacked the holy child of God. We have judged and found ourselves unworthy 
look at the stuff that comes pouring out of the TV. And has almost all my life. You're only enough if you have this appliance, drive this car, weigh this much, have this color hair, and have this season's shoes. You're only enough if, and you're only good enough when, 